Ed Ingram has been suspended from the team indefinitely for violation of team rules. He will not be with us at camp. I don't know that. I can't answer that. Uh, he's suspended indefinitely. Excuse me? No, he, he's a violation. It's a violation of team policy. Uh, we have a, a policy set in place at the university. He broke that policy. And uh, so we just need to see what happens. Yeah. You know, first of all, Jimmy, about getting a smart quarterback. Jimmy was big on that. Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson's philosophy was recruit de great defensive linemen, get a great quarterback, recruit speed. And I was there for him, and I, and I took that philosophy on. Then Pete Carroll. You know, we were, uh, we were walking out when we played Auburn, Pete Carroll and I, and he goes, what do you think? I said, give him a quarter. And that was Matt Liner's first game. If he doesn't do the right thing, put in booty. I think Matt Liner went 21 or 23. <laughs> uh, we won the national championship that year, and I don't know if he won the Heisman Trophy that year or not. But, you know, so I've been in some qu close quarterback races. I've been walking out with Matt Castle every day. And Matt, t Matt Castle told me, I see, Coach, I can do it, man. I can do it. And I'm telling you, be patient, be patient. I don't know if he ever played a snap at USC. So I've been a part of those quarterback battles. I've seen them. And I think that uh, at the end, the best man's going to win. Yeah, yeah. You know, with, with Terrence, I do believe that he's healthy. Again, I haven't seen him practice. Hopefully he's 100% healthy. Talking to Jack, he is. I want him to have confidence on that leg to make the cuts. From what I'm hearing, he's had some great player-only practices. I hear Jamar Chase is fantastic. If you look at Jamar Chase, he looks very mature. Uh, he hit the weight room. Uh, he looks like he's about a junior right now as far as when you look at his body. So I think those guys are ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, Coach Grimes did a tremendous job for us last year. You know, we went into camp with six offensive linemen. <laughs> I got to tell you, I was nervous as heck. And he promised me those guys were going to be ready. And uh, he did a great job. I think here's what's got to happen. Sadiq Charles got to step up. If he's going to be our starting left tackle, he's got to be the bell cow. He's got to answer the bell. We can't chip a back. We got to be able to block a number one rush in. He's got to be able to win his one on one. But Dora Troy, we're going to have to play him. He's excited. He's a backup left tackle. Okay. Um, Lloyd Cushenberry, he's got to come. He's got to come. He has not started yet. He has got to come. Donovan Campbell. Donovan had one of his best springs last year. Donovan has the ability to be a great offensive lineman. He just needs to be more consistent. And then the right tackle, Adrian McGee and Austin Deckless. Those guys are young pups. Austin played. Adrian, he was up there today, all fired up. So, you know, we have to get, like, too deep that we can play throughout the season. So this is going to be a physical camp. Those guys – are going to have to prove that they can do it in camp because they're going to go against some of the best defensive lines in the country. One more. One more. Has, uh, has Bill Bush been asked to be a part of the Ohio State investigation? You know, I'm not able to comment on that. I don't know that. I wouldn't be able to answer that. He hasn't talked to me about that at all. Thanks, Coach. Okay, man. Thank you, guys.